Now the latest in the GoFirst insolvency case. Lenders will be meeting today to reassess the funding plan for the grounded airline. However, sources uh, tell CNBC TV18 that there are low chances of the airline's revival. Ritu Singh joins us now with the details. Ritu, give us a sense. How are the lenders looking at the road ahead? Well, you know, things aren't looking very good for Go First at this time, especially with the recent government rule, which very clearly stated that leased aircraft and engines will not be bound by a moratorium under the bankruptcy law. So this lenders meeting is crucial, coming at a time when there is uncertainty about the aircraft and a lot is riding on the pending case in the Delhi High Court on this matter. Now, lenders have to re-evaluate whether they're willing to risk giving more loans to the airline to help it stay afloat, especially with little interest coming from the suitors so far. Remember, we'd earlier reported Jindal Power is the only suitor to have submitted an EOI for Go First. Jet Wings had later shown an interest, but it did not qualify. Now, banks we spoke to are not so inclined to sanction any more funds to the airline and told us very clearly that if Go First gets an adverse ruling from the Delhi High Court and if lessers repossess the aircraft, the revival of the airline is going to be a big question mark. And this combined with low interest from the suitors means banks are not really ruling out liquidation for the airline at this time. Remember, we had reported that banks had given an in-principle nod for about 450 crores of interim financing for the airline, but not all of this was sanctioned. In fact, banks had only released a limited amount of under 100 crore rupees to pay some salary dues and cover some aircraft maintenance cost. Central Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, those are the two key lenders in this case. IDBI Bank has very little exposure. Deutsche Bank has made it very clear that it will not be participating in any further funding for Go First. Incidentally, today also marks the end of the 180-day deadline for resolution of the airline under the IBC. This is also going to be taken up in the lenders' meeting today, and banks will likely seek an extension of that CIRP timeline while they remain in wait-and-watch mode. Right, Ritu, we'll keep coming back to you for more on that developing story. Let's move ahead now. Rating.